Holly's eight week update. Hello, Holly. So, Holly is eight weeks old and one day today, and she is just a little cutie. Who doesn't want to sit on my knee? So, I'm going to set her down. Hey guys, and welcome back. Okay, today's video is going to be Holly, my little puppy's eight week update. Okay, so she's not in this part of the video because I have filmed, I have filmed this before and she just did not sit still. She was running about and moved the tripod and everything like that. So I thought I'd film it and then I'd show you little clips of her. So anyway, Holly is eight weeks old and one day today. So that means that her brother and her sisters are actually leaving us. So three puppies are already gone out of the six and um, so there's three puppies left. Two of them went to Scotland this morning. I'm from Northern Ireland, which is, we have to go by boat to get there. So it's like in the, it's in the other part of the UK. Um, so yeah, I was really sad this morning when having to get them into their little box to take them to Scotland. Mum and Dad are actually away right now. Um, another puppy left last night. So we only have a girl puppy left and a boy puppy left. So anyway, on to Holly. Holly's eight weeks old and one day. So last week, last Saturday, I want to say, we took all six of the puppies to get microchipped. And let me tell you, that was an adventure and a half. My dad has a Jeep and in his Jeep he has a special dog box in the boot for the dogs, obviously and um, we put all six puppies in it and yeah they did great in the car they did cry a little bit at first but that's sort of to be expected they'd never been in a car before it was an unfamiliar territory for them and yeah but they did great and um, none of them cried at all when the vet was putting the chip in i was very surprised to see the size of the like micro chip the microchip needle it's huge and not one of them cried but when i was saying i was like wow this is amazing you they haven't cried and he said because he put it in like the in in their back he said the bit that he put in they don't have a lot of sensation there so it wouldn't have hurt now one of them did bleed a little bit after but that went away quite and quick now um i know this updates about holly but i'll tell you a little bit about all the pups there is one pup that has a little umbilical hernia and that actually we think happened uh, what actually happened we think was the day that she was born um ruby was very distressed when when she was in labor she didn't know what was going on she didn't um she didn't even like the puppies when they came out she was afraid of them so I basically sat the whole night in with her while she had the puppies and when we thought one of the puppies were born um, she didn't want to go into the box to have them she wanted to have them outside so we just let her do that we put some towels down and I thought one of the puppies was born and because I heard I heard her do the pushing and then um and then I heard like little cries. So I went to pick the puppy up, but couldn't find the puppy. Turns out while Ruby was running around, the puppy was still attached to Ruby and it was just hanging on by her umbilical cord. So what happened was I just put my hand down and I didn't pull the puppy, I just put my hand down and I sort of just gripped on a little bit and the puppy came out, but her umbilical cord was completely off. She didn't have an umbilical cord. So we're thinking that was maybe um, due to the umbilical hernia, what caused it. Though the vet said it's nothing to be concerned about, it will go away, and it's very minor. Um, some of the puppies with their little canine teeth um, have little like sores on their lips, and the vet said this is because their canine teeth are really sharp at the moment, but when they fall out, um, when they fall out, uh, and the big ones come in they're not as sharp and it should go away we did say if there was anything that he could do he said he could pull their teeth out but that would cause more harm than good that would cause them more pain and they don't seem to be distressed by that so we thought that was okay so holly actually has one little sore here on her lip and she doesn't seem to uh i was gonna say depressed she just doesn't seem like it's annoying her or anything like that um, another thing about Holly during that vet visit was when Holly opened her eyes, we noticed that in her left eye, 
and right in the like black pupil part there was like a little white cloudy bit now i haven't really spoke about this nobody really knows about this and um i thought she was blind but in that eye and we were doing like little tests like moving our fingers around her eye and stuff we could see that she could see but we thought she maybe had a blind spot so when we were at that vet visit we said yeah she has this thing in her eye and she has this thing in her eye and sorry i had a text message um she had this thing in her eye and the vet was just he took a look at it and he said that it is not in the part that she sees out of it. it's just like a little cloud thing that is actually not causing her any harm it's not causing her any pain or anything like that and that that he said it could go away or it could stay now i have noticed since her opening her eyes originally the cloudiness in her eye has almost gone away there's still a little bit in it and it doesn't cause her any pain or anything like that so it doesn't really bother me as long as it doesn't bother her the vet doesn't seem too concerned so yeah i'm just going by that so holly is doing great she's gaining a bunch of weight she is the hungriest dog ever she's actually the hungriest dog i've ever seen before ruby is a really hungry dog but um she's not as obsessed with food as holly is holly's obsessed with food i as you guys seen have a little box of treats from my dogs and i decided to get little puppy treats so i bought some little puppy treats and put them in the box and i opened the box up and give her one and she just devoured it she thought this was great so she came and sat on my knee anytime she gets a treat now she thinks this is what you have to do she comes and sits on my knee and it eats, eats it like out of the palm of my hand and then just sits there and eats it and I'm just, at the moment I don't want her to stop doing that because I love any minute that she comes and sits on my knee because Ruby would have been a dog that would have just sat on my knee all the time curled up and went to sleep. Holly is a wild dog. Holly doesn't like to be on your knee. She likes to be running about playing which is fair enough. She's a little dog. She needs to do that but yeah. So yeah. Holly, the last time you guys seen her, you seen, I was telling her, I was telling you guys that she liked to bite my ears and she liked to bite me. And fingers and toes, she likes fingers and toes. Though I have sort of got her to stop doing that. I'm starting to train her a little bit to stop doing things like that. And this may sound cruel to some of you guys, but this is just what I have been taught to do over the years. And this is just, just what I was taught. It didn't cause her any like, pain she didn't yelp or anything like that and um, when she went to bite me I curled her like lip just under her canine teeth a little bit just so she could feel herself biting and she would associate oh if I bite this is gonna hurt somebody so I did that about two or three times and then she stopped doing it all together though she never yelped she never looked like she was in pain or anything she was sitting bouncing about playing so it didn't seem to cause her any pain which is good I'm glad to hear I think um anyway so her dew claws are so sharp guys anytime I go out with that dog I end up with like scraps this is one like from two minutes ago and then I've like one here and just all over the place I end up with scraps this one's healed but I had like a big scrub here and like I'm not complaining I don't mind <laughs> I'm, I'm a big girl I can handle a little bit of scrubbing but her claws are so sharp and just anytime, because she's so happy and excited to see us anytime we go outside, that she just like climbs up and it's just, oh, give me attention, give me attention. But she doesn't realize she's doing it, but <laughs> it's really funny. Um, I am just off a night shift today. So I've slept for literally about two hours and that is it. So I'm actually really, really tired. So I slapped on some makeup and was like, yeah, I'm, I'll do a video. And yeah because <laughs> i didn't want to look like death because in my last video i was just off a night shift as well and i looked like absolute death i looked about 10 years older than i actually am and oh i just didn't like the way i looked so i um put a little bit of makeup on and took my hair down it is actually curly at the moment so i took it down out of its bun and yes so that explains that so yesterday i was also on a night shift so last so what day is today? Today's Saturday. I was also on a night shift on Thursday. So I was on a night shift on Thursday and Friday. So that's two 12 hour shifts and I was very tired after them both, obviously. 
and yeah so on friday my daddy took all six of the puppies himself to the vets again to get vaccinated now we weren't going to vaccinate the puppies as um some of the owners requested not to get them vaccinated but because two of the puppies are going to scotland to get onto the boat they needed to have like vaccination proof or like the vaccination sticker or whatever so daddy took all six of the puppies and holly included she is one of the six but he took all six of them down to the vet got them vaccinated and yeah and i was actually really sad to miss that because i don't actually know how much holly weighs i wanted to wear because in our vet there's a big scale in the waiting area i wanted to wear and see how much she weighed and yeah so i didn't get that but he said not not one of them cried and they did amazing so yeah i think that's really all there is to update on there's not too much more i'll roll on some clips of her here and anyway i will this is the end of the talky part of the video i will see you guys later bye <laughs> sharp i mean she literally cuts me all the time stop biting me we know that we're not allowed to bite ready so yeah she is really sharp dew claws though she, she doesn't mean to do it my phone just lit up